What's up everybody? Welcome back to Make It Custom. I'm Carl Fisher and in this video we're going to be working on the lower cowl section of a Model A Roadster building tow board structure and firewall mounts. I'm going to be using all kinds of equipment, welders, grinding, cutting, CNC plasma table. We're going to use benders. Hope you enjoy the video and don't forget hit that subscribe button. Let's get into it. time to get this firewall happening. The front of this car has been a bit of a struggle for me because everything's custom on the inside and everything sort of converges in the front. The kick panels and the foot wells and the firewall, they all kind of come together and also I need to create a front mount for body mount to the chassis. Right now I'm just trying to figure all that out. I said in my last video I want to use this stock firewall kind of rolled shape and this little area here where it kind of kicks back a little. First step is going to be figuring out, you know, I, I think the actual firewall itself, you know, is gonna be not too bad. The part that I'm, gonna, I'm kind of struggling with designing is right down in here. This angle is gonna be the angle I choose for my foot, my foot panel, foot well, whatever you want to call that. This piece that goes across here. This inner structure that I made is actually kind of in the way, like it, it doesn't make sense because there's a hole here. So I'm gonna have to fill that hole and I'm gonna have to come down here with a panel. I'm gonna have to make a body mount here to the frame. It'll be exposed on the outside. So it's just kind of all this stuff that needs to happen first so that I can build the final firewall. I think the actual bead rolling and the, you know, the code for the distributor, that's going to be relatively straightforward and that's going to come after I figure out the finer details of uh, the frame of where everything's going to be, if that makes sense. I don't know if it does, but this little finicky stuff first before I get the actual firewall built. So here we go. Okay, I'm starting to get this tricky shit figured out. Before I make my kind of triangle kick panel support piece here, um, the first thing I've got to do is I got to finish off this firewall. This firewall is a bolt-in firewall originally, and uh, now it's going to be attached to this subframe. So before I make any welds, I've got to extend this firewall down so that it can grab this subframe because I won't be able to get at it later. Once it's welded in, I won't be able to get at it. So I'm gonna pop the firewall out, get those pieces extended, put it back in, that's step one. And then I can continue figuring out the triangular um, kick panel support piece that incorporates my body mount at the front here.
Now that the firewall is fitted back in, I can start laying out my templates for the tow board braces themselves. Now that I have these parts fitting nicely, I'm going to weld them fully in. It creates an incredible amount of structure in this area. Next up, I'm trimming off the subframe stubs that come through the firewall so that I can make room for my new mounts. Alright, we got the uh, kick braces done. They're just 16 gauge. I just sort of boxed it all in. That's gonna be the plane at which the foot wells are gonna go. And then for the front here, I ended the subframe where it stuck out, filled that in, and I made these mounts. It's gonna be my new cowl mounts. Uh, yeah, they're gonna look something like that, kind of match everything else. One thing I wanted to say is that if you're wondering why, I cut the, um, the slots where I'm bending these. You may have guessed I do have a brake press, but the reason why I cut those anyway is because when you brake press something that's got holes in it, if they're close to the edge like these are, it'll distort because the hole is kind of a weaker spot. So when you're putting it in a brake press, it's, it's not as clean of a brake is what I'm trying to say. I do make it easier to break them by cutting little slots where the brakes are and then I just weld them up. You just throw a little weld in there, I'm gonna grind them down and make them look nice. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm at. These are the little things that, uh, you know, the details that start to take, take a little bit of time. These foot wells are looking good, those front mounts are almost done. I'm gonna drill a hole right in the top of the frame and weld a 3 8 nut in there so that that's our front body mount and then we can go on to uh, mapping out our actual panels and firewall.
you guys here. These are little flange nuts. I weld them in upside down into frame rails so that you've got like a welded nut. You know, in a boxed frame, it's really, really handy not to have to drill a hole so that you can get, you know, your socket wrench inside your frame. So I weld these guys in. It's just a grade five flange nut. Um, I wire wheel off the uh, nickel coating so that it welds nice. And then I just drill a hole until just the, uh, the hex passes through the hole. And then I've got this nice flange all the way around it that I can weld up and now you've got full threads for, you know, 3 8 5 16 whatever you want to use it for. I just used them on this right here. So um, yeah, just a tip. All right, well that pretty much wraps up our tow board substructure video. It was a bit challenging for me to get this area all figured out. It's a lot of pieces that all kind of come together that need to work together to make a clean tow board area. If you have any suggestions or questions about this video or anything you'd like to see in the future, don't forget to leave a comment down below. If you like this video or you found the information useful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you in the next one.